All right, I'm getting ready for uh, today. I'm having to cut some more clay up. And uh, I've got uh, my reference for the male figure and uh, for a wolf. Uh, this is a uh, maquette I got. I can't remember what, I think it's anatomy tools, but I can't remember. Uh, where exactly I got this uh, wool uh, anatomy maquette. And uh, this isn't the stand it came on. I did this for me, not for uh, display. This is for reference so I can turn it around and look at it uh, comfortably. But uh, this will help me with the anatomy of the head of the uh, wolf yeah, that will be sitting on his uh, head. I'll continue cutting up the clay and I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. All right, I've been doing some research online. I got this, uh, actually, a screenshot from uh, the movie uh, uh, Little Big Man, and there was a scene where uh, they're attacked by a Pawnee, and uh, he's wearing a uh, wolf, uh, gray wolf uh, headdress uh, because he's one of the scouts for the uh, war party and uh, I did some research on uh, mine after I was talk, uh, chatted with uh, my expert um, Michael Terry who's also been uh, a model of mine for years and uh, he's an expert on clothing um, customs religion Everything to do with Native Americans, he's the go-to person. Uh, he's actually uh, had a couple of segments on uh, the History Channel with the Indian tech. Anyway, this is a gray wolf here. Uh, he said that that's what they would more than likely wear. There'd be several scouts sent out by a war party, and they'd all be young men. Uh, this is a couple of gray wolves. Uh, with a human, that gives me scale for the head to a human, and same here. Now there are bigger, much bigger gray wolves uh, out there, but uh, this is more like what I'm looking for here. Now this is a illustration by a, a artist. Uh, I don't remember his name. I just uh, found it online, and it kind of shows you how the skin would be worn. Now this, I'm not sure this is a gray wolf. Well, it could be because it's much bigger than a uh, coyote's uh, face. So it's more likely is a gray wolf. But anyway, um, it just gives you an idea of how the structure of the headdress would be. It wouldn't have the teeth hanging out of it and stuff like that. That's modern day movie, uh, modern day mountain men type stuff this this is more authentic uh as far as how this would look on the uh, native american the uh headdress would be tied onto his chin so that's what i've been going through and uh finding and now it's time for me to get started on the anatomy of the the male and uh get that going and then i'll uh be able to start working on the detail of the uh, other stuff. All right. <laughs> that just go, shows you what you have to go through, uh, basically, to try to get something as accurate as you can. And uh, now it's time for me to start building up his anatomy so I can do all that. I've got a three-inch head on this 
figure, and that's uh, the uh, scale for the uh, anatomy for the two, the uh, person I'm doing. Um, and that, that's right down to his uh, bottom of his waist. Uh, anyway, going to get started on adding clay, and okay. I'll be right back. Starting to work on the back. Just to show you, I've taken his body and twisted it because I like to have this uh, movement and he's looking into the opposite direction of his uh, movement. And so it all works out well as a design. You, 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 the uh, Greeks established uh, the uh, parameters for a, a balanced sculpture or artwork. Uh, you always have to have an S curve. Um, and that's what this body is. It's an S curve right now and a triangle and circle. All that goes into designing a balanced uh, sculpture. And uh, that's what I'm working on right now. You, uh, this, all that we do net today was basically established for realistic artwork. I mean, modern artwork, uh, more contemporary artwork, um, the sky's the limit. But uh, for realistic artwork, you have to follow certain parameters to uh, make it uh, unconsciously look balanced to the human eye. And the male figure has a rounded rib cage above the ad abdomen. Female has more of a uh, triangular shaped uh, rib cage at the uh, abdomen, above the abdomen. It's just human anatomy. All right. Reading about these scouts or the way the war parties, Native American war parties would uh, move across the prairies and uh, and th through the mountains and stuff like that, they would not take the easy route. The easy route would be the route uh, along the top of hills uh, because it would be a lot easier to just follow the uh, crest of a hill rather than uh, going down through the gullies and the washes and all that stuff. The Indians... Uh, looked upon the white man as being really dumb because they always took the easy route, which made them easy to find. And the Native Americans uh, would move through gullies and washes and uh, depressions, things that would hide their part, war party. And uh, that's one reason why a lot of white travelers are or white uh, victims um, met their fate because they uh, took the easy route instead of the hard route. Does that make sense to you? It did when I read it. I'm not sure I'm coming across with the right way of expressing why they were successful in now well, anyway I'm babbling now
Let's still loose on the archer. Try to control that a little bit. Okay, I'm going to call it quits for now and uh, come back tomorrow. i got to cut some more clay up. I've already gone through what I cut up earlier. It's a clay eater here. Anyway, I'm happy the way it's turning out. Turning out uh, still not certain on the uh, design of the uh, body of the warrior, but... Uh, I'll get that eventually. Let me just try something real quick. Just want to see what this would look like. Having the face of the wolf coming out. Having the skin tied in front. Yeah. All right. That's going to be it for today. And I'll see you guys next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.